Hi, I'm Trevor Justice, director of the Vegetarian Health Institute. In the last video, I introduced you to moms and grandmas who lost 40 to 100 pounds by replacing processed foods with delicious whole food meals. If you missed that video, then after you're done watching this, click the link above that says moms and grandmas. In today's video, you'll learn to make a delicious meal using quinoa, lentils, and leafy green vegetables. You'll also learn to season it with garlic, turmeric, and ginger. These rejuvenating herbs and spices will wow your taste buds and curb your cravings for sweets. But how can spices curb your cravings for sweets? Have you ever taken antibiotics, birth control pills, or hormone replacement therapy? These drugs kill the friendly bacteria that keeps yeast in check. When this happens, candida runs rampant in your system and makes you crave sweets. Well, turmeric, ginger, and garlic keep candida from sticking to the walls of your digestive tract. They also help your immune system keep candida under control. These spices are widely used to treat digestive disorders in Ayurvedic medicine. These spices are also antibacterial, anti-cancer, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, and they're antioxidants. They calm stomach problems, fight infection, and boost your immunity to toxins. Now there are two types of cravings, physiological cravings, the kind that candida contributes to, and psychological cravings that come from emotional needs. In a few minutes, you'll discover a way to overcome psychological cravings, emotional eating, and unsupportive friends and relatives. But first, let's bring back Lisa from the last video to demonstrate a spicy quinoa stew. Quinoa is a whole grain and a complete protein that cooks in just 20 minutes. As you know, Lisa lost 100 pounds by replacing processed foods with delicious whole food meals. Here she is now. A few years ago, before I started educating people on the internet, I was actually teaching live cooking classes. Lisa came to one of my classes, and since then she has taken off and become an awesome chef in her own right. I've asked her to join me today and show you one of the recipes from our program, Naturally Fit Forever. This recipe is called Spicy Quinoa Stew, and we chose this one because I mentioned earlier quinoa is one of my favorite whole grains and uh, wanted to show you a recipe that uses quinoa and also that uses therapeutic spices like garlic, ginger, and turmeric. So I'd like to hand it over to Lisa and she'll show you how to make this recipe. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chef Lisa Books Williams and I'm here to show you how to make a spicy quinoa and lentil stew using these wonderful Ayurvedic spices. So the first thing you'll need is to get your ingredients in order. So here's what you'll need to get started. You'll need one and a half cups of cooked quinoa, one cup of cooked lentils, and about two to three cups of your favorite greens. And I like using a combination of turnip and mustard greens. You'll also need about two teaspoons of olive oil or any other type of oil and these spices. Two teaspoons of ground cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, one eighth to a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of ginger, and one teaspoon of Indian hot chili. You'll also need three cups of low sodium, vegetable broth, and these garnish items, some shredded cabbage, some chopped avocado, and of course, some fresh pieces of lemon or lime to squeeze on top. So the first thing you do to make this stew is you wanna heat up your pan. And once your pan is hot, you put your oil in. So we're gonna put in our oil, and we just wait a few seconds for the oil to ripple a little. And then the next step is very important. We're gonna take all of our spices that I mentioned earlier, and we're going to put them in the pan and toast them. So toasting your spices is a very Ayurvedic principle. This helps to bring out their natural flavor 
and a lot of the healing properties of the spice. You always want to put your spices in dry and never put them into liquid so that you can get the most healing properties and also the most flavor in your spices. So now that we've toasted our spices, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to wilt our greens. And so we put our greens in and we're just going to kind of toss them until they wilt a little bit in the pan. I'm going to turn up the heat a little for this. Okay. Now once it starts to wilt, we're going to add our cooked lentils. And lentils are the perfect balance of protein and carbohydrate. So you always want to have cooked lentils on hand. And speaking of perfect, we're going to put our cooked quinoa in. And this is about one and a half cups of cooked quinoa. So we want to toss to be able to coat our quinoa and our lentils with all of these wonderful toasted Ayurvedic healing spices. Looks good, doesn't it? In a few minutes, I'll show you the rest of Lisa's demo. But first, I want to answer two questions people posted to our blog. Number one, how do I overcome psychological cravings, emotional eating, and unsupportive friends and relatives? And number two, if I want to eat this way, how much time will it take in the kitchen? Let's start with that one. Well, it could take a lot of time, but we listened to what our customers wanted and designed menu plans, grocery lists, and recipes to save you a lot of time. The recipes are low fat and gluten free, and many are seasoned with turmeric, ginger, garlic, and other rejuvenating herbs and spices. Weekday dinners take under 30 minutes to make, and weekday lunches use leftovers from the night before, so they take no time at all. We also created Sunday make ahead lists. So each weekend, you can do advanced kitchen prep for the week ahead. Our customers say the weekly make-ahead list saves them time, and the weekly grocery list saves them money. For example, Patsy McCutcheon says this, I like the grocery list. You're able to focus on only what you really need, and you're not tempted to put extras in the shopping cart. It's actually helped me lower my weekly food bill. And Jennifer Boyd says this, I've already saved money because I'm not purchasing lunches or snacks on the go. The ingredients for the rest of the week are already chopped and measured. We call this program Naturally Fit Forever. It includes three months of carefully crafted menu plans, grocery lists, recipes, and Sunday make-ahead lists. Thanks to the weekly grocery list, you'll never watch food spoil because you bought too much, and you'll never have to run to the store for a missing ingredient because you didn't plan ahead. I was like, wow, where has this been all of my life? How is it that I have spent this many years not eating such good food, good tasting food? Because now I actually taste food because I'm not filling my plate with stuff that is, is so filled with fillers and preservatives and it just doesn't have the same flavors as regular whole food does. Well, I wanted to tell you that if you're worried that healthy eating is boring or difficult, you don't need to worry about that because the recipes that were created for the Naturally Fit Forever program are delicious and easy to follow. It's amazing what delicious dishes you can create using plant-based healthy foods. And with the right spice combinations, you can make it taste even better. And this program will show you how. One of the things that I really love about the Naturally Fit Forever program is that it focuses on foods that are good for you, that not only will help you look better, but will actually help you feel better from the inside out. The recipes are delicious, the variety is really good, and I feel good that I'm feeding my body from the inside out and being healthy in the process. I've never been able to stick to a diet because I always felt that I had to sacrifice. I had to sacrifice mm. flavor and taste and everything else. 
So when I got on this program, I was like completely amazed and overjoyed at the fact that, wow, this tastes good and it's good for you. And I mean, the results have been absolutely amazing for me because I've lost 45 pounds um, since February. I have been able to reduce my prednisone in half. I, I started at 10 milligrams of prednisone um, in February, like that's what I was on. And I've reduced that to 5 milligrams. Um, I have taken all the pain medications are gone from my diet. Um, <laughs> and I say diet because I was eating them like food. It's been a complete amazing turnaround for me. I'm, I'm full of energy. If willpower is no problem for you, then Naturally Fit Forever is all you need. But if you're prone to emotional eating or psychological cravings, then just knowing what to eat or how to exercise isn't enough. That's why we contracted a psychologist, Dr. Felicia Williams, to create a three-month companion program. It's called Willpower Made Easy. If you listened to the interview with Dr. Williams, then you know she's been in your shoes. She really understands firsthand what you're going through. In Willpower Made Easy, each week you get a written practice guide, and most weeks include an audio recording. Here are the titles of the 13 practice guides. Number one, five tips to lock in success from the very start. Number two, get shame, blame, and guilt out of your closet. 3. Be bulletproof to unsupportive friends and relatives. 4. Keep cravings from getting the best of you. 5. The role of forgiveness in overcoming barriers to success. 6. The self-love key to sustainability. 7. Maintain momentum and prepare for warp speed. 8. When self-sabotage hits, how to meet it head-on and win. 9. It's your choice. Learn to say no with love. 10. Stress-busting tips to stay on course. 11. Winning the inner battle of I deserve it. 12. Gratitude, your lifelong companion for keeping what you have and getting more. 13. New beginnings, living boldly in your new body. Here's Dr. Williams describing the program in her own words. Anytime you try to give up comfort foods, it can be challenging because after all, we bring comfort foods into our life to give us comfort when we're emotionally distressed or upset. And one of the really important things to learn is that we have cravings for a reason. We have our comfort foods in our life for a reason. And one of the things that Willpower Made Easy does is help you to understand what's underneath all of that. So for example, if you're having cravings for a particular food, you get to understand is the craving really a physiological need or is it an emotional need? And sometimes just being able to determine which of those two things it is gives you an action step that's really easy for you to follow. Often it also comes up that other people in your life are the ones that are making it difficult for you to stay on your, on your program. And Willpower Made Easy gives you some tools for how to deal with those people who may be the naysayers, who may be the ones who want you to cook regular food for them while you're eating all these healthy foods, or the ones who want to tempt you and just tell you, oh, you know, a little bite of this won't really make that much difference. There are lots of different areas that this program goes into to help you deal with the temptations, to help you deal with your own emotions and feelings as you're going through your weight loss program at, that help you to deal with areas like blaming yourself and being ashamed of yourself for the weight that you've gained or the weight that you carry um, that help you deal with forgiving yourself and forgiving other people. Now here's the best part. We've bundled Willpower Made Easy together with Naturally Fit Forever. We also include four fitness videos with a certified personal trainer. So each week you get a complete fat burning, bone strengthening workout in just 30 minutes using your own body weight and a set of dumbbells. Look, after reading your comments on our blog, 
I feel like I've gotten to know you personally, and I really want you to have the same transformation that Lisa, Lynette, Kim, and Gail have had. So for one week, starting Wednesday, we're going the extra mile and discounting everything by 30%. But that's not all. Wow, now I really sound like a late night infomercial. We're also giving you a 15 day trial so you can check out the first three weeks of content before making a decision. And no matter what you decide, the early bird bonus package is yours to keep. As it stands now, the bonus package includes sports nutrition secrets, your body's secret language, and our booklet, Oil-Free Salad Dressings. There's just one thing. On Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, our partners will announce this to their combined email lists with over 100,000 email subscribers. But only the first 200 people will get the early bird bonus package. So on Wednesday, watch your email inbox for the link at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. In the meantime, you can click the link below to read all about the early bird bonus package and the program. Now here's Lisa with the rest of the spicy quinoa stew demo. Now once we have stirred and coated everything with the spices, our next step is to add our vegetable broth. So we're going to put in our vegetable broth. Now to assemble our stew, here's what we do. We take our shredded cabbage and we're going to put the shredded cabbage on the bottom of the bowl, about the bottom one third of the bowl. And cabbage is a wonderful cruciferous vegetable. It's great for cleaning out the gut and helping to prevent colon and stomach cancers. Then, after we have our cabbage in the bowl, we're going to get our cooked stew and ladle it on top. Now, the recipe that I shared with you is enough for two portions. So if you really like this recipe, you'll want to make more to have later throughout the week. So we're going to ladle this on top of our cooked cabbage. Oh wow, look at this. This is exciting. Put that on top. And then we're going to take a piece or a wedge of lemon or lime and we're going to squeeze it on top of our stew. Now, the acid in the citrus is essential whenever you're cooking with beans. And you always put it in at the end. And if you don't want to lose, use lemon or lime, you could use a little bit of apple cider vinegar or red wine vinegar instead. And now we're going to add our wonderful alkalizing avocado on top too. So put some pieces of that on there. Oh my gosh, look at this, this is exciting. And so what I do is that I mix it all together so that I get the lemon juice in there and the hotness of the stew is cooking the cabbage. And so all we have left to do now is to eat it. Mmm. Mmm. This is delicious. I know you'll love this recipe. Hey, Trevor, come over here. Try this. Mmm. This is so delicious and the avocado just finishes it off perfectly. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that yummy? That's nice and the lemon really brings it out, huh? No, I want to talk, but without food in my teeth. I'm so proud of these recipes that we've made for you and I can't wait till you make this at home. Just imagine how great it'll be when you're whipping up delicious meals like these mm. for you and your family.